Good afternoon, Pankers, and welcome to your second wider curriculum lesson this week. So today is Tuesday, the 2nd of February 2021, and your learning objective today is can I use a range of sources to communicate my opinion as to whether or not the Great Exhibition is representable of British culture? So you're going to be looking at different sources and different examples to understand and make an opinion on whether the Great Exhibition was only British culture or was there more to it? In this lesson, we are going to be using sources to learn more about what was shown at the Great Exhibition. By the end of today's lesson, I want you to share your own opinion about the following. So you should be able to tell me what you think of the Great um, Exhibition, so what you personally think of it. Whose culture is actually being shared in the Great Exhibition? So is it British culture or other cultures? Is the Great Exhibition something that British people can and should claim as their own? So the Great Exhibition, should the British people say it's theirs and only theirs? Or should credit be given to other cultures and countries? Miss Blay and Miss Hudson, our history experts, have created four videos for us to share their, their expert knowledge about these objects from the Great Exhibition. So they have four videos and it's about four different objects. As you watch their videos, here are some things to think about. So while you are watching the videos about the objects, I want you to think about the following. So you will need to take out your whiteboard and pen or a piece of paper and a pencil, and you will need to make notes and you need to make notes on the following, okay? Where did the object originally come from? Who was the person that invented and brought it over to the UK? And where did they come from? What does it tell us about the Victorians? How did the actions of the Victorians affect others? And any other interesting pieces of information you might have learnt about that object? and any questions you may have, okay? So please do not forget to make notes on these videos and you should be making notes on these questions here. Now, what I would like you to do is please go and watch these videos, then come back to this video when you are done. So there are four videos. One is about the steam hammer. One is about the Kohinu diamond. Um, the other video is about um, Mr. Nicolay, and the last video is about the elephant. Okay, now these are the these are the names of the videos, and this is how they've been named. Okay, they should have been sent to you on your task sheet last week, and I will also post the links to these on. You will also find the links to these on your class team chat. Okay, now. Now, if you can please pause the video and pause my video and watch the other four videos, do not forget to take notes. Now you should have collected lots of information about the different objects that were on display at the Great Exhibition of 1851. You will need these notes to help you with your task today. Okay. Now your task is is going to be the, um, I'm just going to take this out because that was a mistake. So your task is going to be all about your own opinion. So when I say your opinion, that means what you think. So there is no right or no wrong because no one can tell you what your thinking is right or wrong. But you need to make sure you are able to give evidence from the videos to support your own opinion. So when you have an opinion and you say it's right um, and you have an opinion, you need to be able to back it up with information or to tell me why you think that, you know, what you're saying is like your opinion is correct, okay, for yourself. Now, the big question for you is, is the Great Exhibition representable of British culture? So what I mean by this is, 
whose history are we actually learning about from the objects in the great um, exhibition? So, you know, the great exhibition, it was held in the UK. So it was held in London at the Crystal Palace, but was everything in that great um, exhibition made by British people or was it made by other people as well? So is it representing British culture? Yes or no? If you say yes, you need to tell me why. If you say no, you need to tell me why. Okay, so now a quick reminder of your talking points. Yeah, and this, these quick, these are, these um, reminders are what are going to help you with your task. So you should be able to tell me what you think of the great exhibition. Did you think it was an amazing thing? Why? Whose culture is actually being shared in the great exhibition? Is it just British culture or more culture? How and why? Is the great exhibition something that British people can and should claim as their own? Or should credit be given to other cultures and countries? So should um, should we say well done um, to Britain for the great exhibition? And is it something that is theirs that they should only they should be proud of and say it's theirs? Or do we say actually other people from different countries were here as well? Okay. Your activity today is using your notes to help you. You can either record yourself sharing your opinion, okay? or you write down your opinion, okay? Now, please do not forget to upload your work onto Tapestry, okay? And I will see you in your next video. Goodbye.